Hey guys. Um, Paradox here. And wow, this is actually kind of loud. There's just a guy right there. Uh, so last time we had some major lag problems. Let's go talk to Greta. Which is where we were. You got the charred knife? Excellent. All right. This'll show the school I know what I'm doing. Well, then why don't you want to go back? Greta sprinkles magic dust on the charred knife and arrow. Aha! The Fire Elves have been cursed by a Banshee's whale. Where does the Talk knife to get to you any of Quinn. that information? He could prove useful. He may know of a Banshee lurking nearby. All right. We are like, whoa, don't want to get in a fight right now, that would suck. We'd die like right away. Let's see if we can find help. Banshee's whale? That sounds like a wicked curse. I've received reports that a All banshee right. is up to no good. I know who it is, too. Okay. Defeat her in battle and snip a lock of hair from her wicked head. Greta needs that hair to save the elves. Um, okay. Hopefully we will find some health along the way and will not need to use our potion. Because that would be just kind of wasteful. And you know what? Uh, I'm actually going to turn the sound down to 50 here. Sorry, it's just kind of loud for me. Eh. Yeah, we did it. Ooh, mana. Alright, here we go. So this is a type 1 dungeon, which means inside there is only a boss. Ah! Once you Ignore activate him. the sigil, a um, will start. When anyway, the runs out, anyone so on the sigil will type 1 dungeon, dungeon with only you. a boss. There will be a minion later on, or now if you're playing with multiple people, but... So, you oh, are I guess the there one is. who has been undoing my work. Your meddling Your in Master's plans will cost you dearly, wizard. I shall send yeah. you back to well, Raven too bad. as an example of what happens to but those yeah. who oppose us. Type 1 dungeon only has a boss and a minion. It won't always have the minion. Um, a type 2 dungeon or a tower is what Gollum Court is, if you remember that. Which we will go back and do later, because it's really hard right now for us. But, um, it is many levels of enemies, and then usually a boss as the last level. Like, usually that locked door over there, well, we would beat them, it would unlock, we'd go to the next level, there'd be more guys to beat. A type 3 dungeon is actually kind of complicated to explain. We will get into one later, though, as part of the Penny Dreadful quest. <laughs> Alright, let's go with a fire cat. and resistance is applied to her, yeah. 
I know I keep saying that, and it's not actually applied, but it is important later on, so... Like, means the difference between losing and winning a battle. Yep, see, she resisted it, so it doesn't do as much damage. Alright, now that we know that's a thing, we have to be careful or... Well, that can happen occasionally. Oh no! Don't any time you need. You can also try and catch some wisps. Now, since that was a dungeon, mana. though, we can press this button to go back. And since we already killed that one guy, he'll stay dead. I think her he health will be fully. What? Aww. I might need to call on a friend to help with this if we can't beat her. I was gonna... I was just thinking something weird, I don't know. Crazy. they didn't really do anything. Let's just kill him. For some reason, she has a big shield. I'm not sure where that came from. But, um, type weaknesses. Death and life are weak against each other. Everything is weak against just opposite and resistance to, to itself, by the way. Uh, so as you see, that did extra damage. But, um... Life and death, fire and ice, myth and storm, and balance enemies will usually be weak against myth, life, or death, sometimes all three. I'm sure you can find balance enemies that are weak against fire, ice, or storm, but usually it'll be the others. Alright. There's three buttons. Well, there's four, but one of them we can't use right now. 
this button will mark a location, which will allow you to press this button. When you do, it'll teleport you to the location you marked. Marking a location costs mana, but um, going to the location does not. This button takes you to your home or dorm. We don't really have one right now. And this button takes you to the commons or somewhere else, depending on the world you're in. It pretty much just takes you to the hub area where you can heal and it's a safe zone and everything. Ah, you have a lock of the Banshee's hair. Yep. After this, Ambrose should believe what I've been telling him about the death school. Well, what have you been saying? Greta burns the lock of hair over a white candle and then hands the melted wax to you. Okay. Done! Tell Private Quinn that the wax from this candle can break the curse on his precious fire elves. Okay. I'm walking away now. That was kind of creepy sounding. Don't know what that has to do with anything. I mean, I never learned any of that stuff. Have the cure? Great! I've taken the wax from the candle and mixed it into a potion. Um. Defeat the Fire Elves and their leader, Prince Alacane Swift Arrow. The potion should then break the curse. Did, Good luck, young wizard. Did, did she say it has to be something they drink? Are you sure they can't just, like, smell it or something? I mean, candles are usually scented, aren't they? I, I mean, like... How do you know they have to smell it? She never... Wait, we have to beat up fire elves again? Uh... Well, let's go... Nope. Um... Mm -hmm. Attack. I can join in on this guy. 
So now I can show you guys a battle with uh, two wizards, finally. Now when they pick a spell, it'll show up right above their name. So, I'm not sure if you saw that, it went kind of fast, but it showed they pick a spell, they pick it, the, they picked a spell called, um, Lightning Bats, so, we'll see that in a minute. Alright, so she storms in. That took him out. So I'm just gonna heal. As you can see, it shows up right there. You can mouse over it to see exactly what the spell does. Alright, going after me. And another lightning bat. That's four. And we'll just kind of follow this guy around, I guess. Oh, sure. Ah. Great. Now we have to take this guy out. So yeah, that person will show up in our friends list. We can click here, look at their stats. And she seems, um, pretty decent, actually. So let's go ahead and finish this guy off. So, um, being friends with people is pretty nice. You can teleport to them, you can talk to them, ask them to help you, you can trade treasure cards with them, you can hatch a pet with them to get a new pet. And we just got a treasure card. Ooh! It looks like remember yeah. to reef go to the fairgrounds in the commons area and step on one of the sigils to play one. Come here, you. Hey, look at that. That actually, uh, those two over there remind me of this one time. Um, I was... I'll just hop in on them since I only need one more and it's better to fight in groups, but, um, these two remind me of this one time. Oh, they even have... Um, there we go. That, I saw these two girls playing as, uh, a friend's wizard to help them level up. They had the exact same name, exact same clothes, everything. They must have been, um, twins or something and decided to make matching characters. The only difference between them was their pet. Alright, Frost Beetle on that, so I should be able to take it out with this. But I'm assuming these two are, like, um, brother and sister or something. Whoa, that guy's-
guy is deaf, apparently. <sighs> or something. But even if you're not friends with someone, you can look at their stats. You just won't be able to do any of the uh, trading and stuff. Oh, and another thing. When in a group battle, enemies will base their attack on who attacked the most or did the most damage from the previous turn. So now they're probably going to attack me. Ooh, Leprechaun. Um. But if it's the first turn, that was what I was going to use. Uh, they'll base it off of who's the first person there. Alright, so that means that they're passing and not gonna do anything. So I suppose now is as good a time as any to show mini games unless I can find someone who's going in with me. Ooh, a pet snack. We can use that later. Um, ooh, mana. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Today's the... Today's word is ooh, apparently. Six is not gonna be enough. Grab this. You'll just find stuff like that lying around all the time. Grab these wooden chests. Ooh, wait, a s ooh, again, a silver chest. These are um, harder to find in these low-level worlds, but it'll cause this minigame to activate. Pretty simple, you just have to... Um, yikes, not even doing that well. Wiggly ones are slower, the thin ones are faster, and these regular ones are just regular speed, I guess you would say. You get it to the lock, if any electricity goes anywhere else, then you lose, and you get higher rewards than you would from a wooden chest. But anyway, we're gonna go to the commons, and I'll show you how mini games work. Now, mini games also fill up your potion if you play them a couple of times, but first they'll give you full mana depending on how well you do. Once you're rich, you can just go to her; she'll automatically re automatically refill. Now, I'm not gonna go over controls for each mini game. I'm just gonna play them and kind of show you how it works. You guys can look at the instructions uh, if you, when you play them. So, not much to this game, we just uh, kill the enemies, try to get to the end, jump over barrels. You need to uh, use the proper sword attack based on the height of the enemy. This, oh. So this guy you can only attack when he raises his sword. Alright, level 2. That should be enough to refill our mana. Yeah, 
this is really all the game is. But there is um, a boss at the end of each place, so this is not it. The boss for the first two places will be that pirate guy, uh, like this, again. The third and fourth places will be, uh, different. The third place it'll be this, um, guy in a mask, who throws spears. And the fourth one will be some kind of evil version of the guy you play as. Snakes can be kind of annoying. I wonder why they like do it like this. I'm not really sure. Is that everything? Get out Good. Here. You've just received a pet snack. So as you can see, you can our pet snacks to your um, pet after it mana is now game. refilled, and we can go continue to fight that boss. Actually, why don't we teleport to our friend and see where they're at? Hopefully, they're not in a fight, though. Aw, oh, they are. You see, yeah, stuff like that happens. They're just gonna kill it anyway, so. Um... <laughs> if I had known they were in a fight, I wouldn't have teleported to them, though, so. Alright, so we got no experience since we didn't cast any spells and that was not part of a quest. But let's head over to that place and fight that guy, shall we? Doesn't look like anyone's gonna come help us. Don't you know it's rude to interrupt a performance? But you are just in time, wizard. This is your final act. Uh, I don't believe you. Let's just go around this way, see if we can read that book, maybe. I think we can. Do we have that quest? No. Get rid of this. See if we can. 
get it. We'll toss that on ourselves. Stacking works if I get hit by a. Uh... Cool. All right. So if I get attacked by a fire spell, you'll see both of these shields will act together to defend me, since they came from different spells. <sighs> She might not be like, um, someone who actually plays the game, so she might not know what main wizard means, but that's fine. This has the, this has the best accuracy. Um, but if she did, uh, main wizard is usually your highest level or one you played with the longest. But the reason for this is high level people like me usually create lower level wizards to go through stuff as a different school and see how, um, how it works and if they like that school. Um, yeah. Now, I must have been hit with a fire spell. I wasn't paying attention. But, uh, if you go back and look, you will see that the two shields did go together when they defended me to make the damage a lot less than it would have been. There we go. What'd she say? I like how they have this earn crowns thing now, I just wish it was worth more. I actually don't know what she's talking about. As you pour the potion into his mouth, Alakane's swift arrow... Remember, I was cursed, as yes. were all my people. Did Private Quinn send you? Mm -hmm. Tell him his arrow saved me. Now that we know it was the Banshee's curse, we will guard against it. Tell Private Quinn that we owe him a debt of gratitude. And thanks to you, Wizard, for freeing all of us. All right, so that's it for the main quests in Firecat Alley once we go talk to Private Quinn. And next time we'll do the side quests of Firecat Alley. She doesn't have a mount. No. Oh yeah, that shows up. Thank you for freeing Prince Swift Arrow. Your deeds here will long be remembered by the elves. I'm glad to see the elves again. Even if they are a bit annoying. Yeah. No. I never thought the curse would win, even for a moment. Our cat Ellie is much too dangerous, young wizard. Someone needs to warn the headmaster. Please go tell Headmaster Ambrose about the curse upon the fire elves. Alright, so we're stay gonna... here. Could you come see me? I need your help. We're actually gonna go get that uh spell real quick. Aw, oh, dang it, I missed what she said. Congrats. Greetings, oh wonderful wizard! Mm, young wizard! Come find me by the water in the commons! These are just uh some decorations you can put in your house. And, uh, that's actually a music role. You put it into a player to get music to play or something. I can't remember how they work exactly, but let's go get a new spell. Yeah. And we actually have a couple things to do, so I think next time we'll start with the pet pavilion. As they say, knowledge is power. I think it's about time you do some research. All right. You'll need to go to the haunted cave. Mm. That is, if you're brave enough. Once there, search around the graveyard for where the elder seer is buried. Remember, 
A graveyard wouldn't scare a death student. At least not a brave one. All right. Wow. That's actually um a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Let's go take that on. This should be for our Banshee spell, I believe. Now, I know I said I was going to end it, but... Uh, I figured some last-minute spell doing would be fine. I guess I didn't think it, you guys would make a big deal of it. Besides, now you get to see a new street. Because we don't go to Firecat Alley to get to the Haunted Cave. We go to Triton Avenue. Now we're not going to start the main quest here yet, so... Talking to that guy, so yeah. Really wish I could cut this out, but it's kind of not something I can do. the street. Well, we don't have to, but it's faster this way. And now we have to cross it again. Ah, god, they're everywhere. We're gonna have to go back. And there we go. Fighting. We just need to go to the gravestone, and it will give us our new spell. Strange noise. Welcome, student of the Death School. I shall now bestow some of my knowledge from the beyond upon you. Awesome. Train well. Congratulations on entering the Haunted Cave and learning from the Elder Seer. It is a tradition to seek it out in order to grow in power. Hmm. I may make right. a death student out of you yet, but you have to really bone up on your studies. <laughs> That's a good spell <laughs> An old to get. death school joke. Um, we're gonna... Yeah. So that will give us plus 40 to any death attack we use. And let me check something. What level are we? Seven. But, yeah, so that's a great spell to have for us. Anyway, so this film was brought to you by Paradox Productions, and I'll see you guys next time.